Hey guys, it's me, 80s from 4 So today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about Villarreal nil, Barcelona won. This will be a short video, guys. A short match reaction. I haven't done a proper, I haven't done match reaction videos a while, long time now for Barcelona games in particular because you guys know I've been doing live match reactions instead where I discuss the game live after the game. Of course, I was actually planning to do it today. However, I got a lot of work to do and I was unable to do it. And I just finished just like a few minutes ago. So, you know, it just, I just didn't have enough time. I still watch the match though, of course. I just have enough time to react to it afterwards. So I hope you guys do not mind and that these kind of things do happen. Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about players. Let's start out. I want to talk about Pedri. We have to have a real conversation about Pedri, guys. Because the amount of abuse and the amount of like, the amount of criticism I hear this guy get, it's unbelievable. Guys, Pedri is phenomenal. Okay? Now, I'm not going to put him in the pedestal of Xavi Iniesta because that's too early to say but he is on course to maybe eclipse them or even potentially be better than them you know and the nice thing about Pedri that I really like this season in particular is his goal scoring that has been insane because as I said before guys Pedri has been a player that's always been good he's always been that guy he's always been a guy that can make those kind of passes and has that passing ability but this season he's turned into a new person He's become a new goal scorer for the team, which is something that's very traditionally different and unorthodox, you would say. And it's not even just scoring goals, right? Because you can score a goal, for example, in three consecutive games. When the game is like 4-0, you make it 5-0. Of course, it's nice, but it's not the same when you score the winning goals. Because Pedri has scored the winning goal for Barca in many occasions now. Remember, he scored the winning goal against, what is it called, um... Girona away then against Villarreal he even scored I believe the game winning goal I forgot what game it was earlier this season I think he scored the game winning goal um I'm sorry he didn't score the winning goal but he contributed to the winning goal against Atletico Madrid I remember now that is pre-assist he did right that's the thing I like about Pedri is that his goal scoring has been insane and he's scoring game winning goals as well which is tremendous value when you're scoring game-winning goals at this age, is phenomenal. He has been insane, and we have to have... A, he's been amazing. One of the best players in the world. And I'm going to say this right now. One of the best midfielders in the world right now. So, amazing, amazing. Then, we're going to talk about Ronald Aral. Today, he was defensively amazing. The amount of defending he did was incredible. The 1v1 in duels in particular, he was absolutely so poor amazing defensive display from Ronald Rao because he was honestly very very good and his defensive displays are probably the reason why we even got the three points obviously Pedri also helped us get three points I'm not saying he didn't but I think Araujo did his part that if he didn't if he wasn't that insane we would have probably lost the game or even drawn the game at the very least you know I don't know if we would have won and it's such a shame he's gonna be suspended for the next game against Cadiz in La Liga, which is a really, really a shame. Next player I want to talk about um, for me is Frank Young. I think Frank Young for me was fantastic on the day. You can see how much he's really blossoming into his new role. I think him and Kessie had a great partnership in the midfield because Barcelona actually played a 4-2-3-1. They didn't really play the 4-4-2 uh, kind of thing. and was more of a double pivot. And I think Kessie and Frank Young had a great game. And this is great to see just ahead of the United game coming up on Thursday, of course. And so um, I'm really, really excited to see. And um, hopefully this two duo can perform very well. And, you know, maybe we don't even need the Busquets replacement. Maybe we don't. <laughs> All right. And then the last player, guys. Robert Lewandowski. I got to talk about his performance, man. He had a stink over a game. And I know people are going to tell me, oh, it's just one game. And yes, it is one game, you know. And we have to keep things in the stack here. Lewandowski has been one of Barca's best players this season. So... Anyone that comes in the comment section below and instantly criticizes him, Aaron just saying, oh, he's been garbage this whole season, is blasphemous. And anyone that does that, I can't take you seriously. I just can't, you know? And I think for Robert Lewandowski in particular, he missed so many chances in that first half. Pepper Reina, you know, made those saves, and he was straight at the keeper. It almost felt like a carbon copy of the game that Barca played away to Bayern Munich when Bayern Munich beat them 2-0, as we know, in the Champions League. The amount of chances he missed, man, it was ridiculous, you know. Now, is this like, 
Should we be concerned with this? I would say it's a little. I'd say we should be slightly concerned, but I wouldn't be too concerned because I do think Lewandowski is. You know, he hasn't been playing a lot of league for a while. Because keep in mind, guys, before the Matisse game, he was suspended for three games. So obviously, it's going to take him some time to recuperate. You know, um, take him some time to him to get back in the groove of things. You know, and I do feel as though that he is still a very, very large presence. You know, he still was helpful. And the goal that Pedri scored. Remember, he still had a great link up play there, I believe. So it's not that he had a bad game, it's just that his finishing was really bad. That that's because you can have bad games and you can also have bad finishing. Right? Because that's the thing, is that um finishing and bad game is very different. So, you know, I just want to give you guys my quick thoughts on that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this match review. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I remember, guys, if you're new on here, consider hitting that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and also comment down below if there any major talking points from this game, if there is any. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.